Hi, I'm Pete Scargill, and I'm going to show you the problems that I'm having with the ESP01 board and the embedded software, which I believe is version 0922 at the moment. Um, so what you're seeing here uh, in this um, in this window, um, I've written some software which will request the IP address um, of the little ESP01, and if it doesn't find an, uh, uh, an address in the right range, it will set the board up. In this case, it says, got the IP address, because remember, when you turn these things off, they retain the um, any IP address you've set up, and they try to connect when you power them up. So I'm setting AT plus SIPMUX equals 1, AT plus SIP server equals 1, 4,000. What that means is set it up as a socket uh, listener on port 4,000, right? So, and I'm setting a time out there, which isn't really important. So it says, okay, it's now waiting for incoming um, data on port 4,000 on that machine. I have a NetIO program running on this um, Android phone. You can get the same thing for iOS and we'll run it and you'll see immediately this will start sending information to the board and responses will come back. There you are, you can see it now. I'm going to kill the auto scroll there so you can see it. So what's happening typically is that the um, phone is sending a request to say I want you to tell me about the status of these four buttons and the the um, the Arduino is sending information back. So, for example, on, 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 on. You see the four lights going on? That's actually information. I'm sending the button presses to the board, and information is coming back. So, as you can see, it works utterly reliably, even at high speed. No problems at all. So I could switch four items on and off there. The problem comes if I switch um, apps or go out of range or anything like that. So let me just switch apps temporarily. You'll see there zero on link. There's a partial command there, that zero, no carry return there. And I think that has something to do with it. So if I start this up again, the board is now busy. You can see it's doing a full reset uh, because I've arranged that if you see busy S. But that busy S screws this up completely. This won't recover from that situation. So there you are. It's already again seconds later, but the application, which I didn't write, it's NetIO, we're stuck with what we get, won't recover. The only way I can recover is to reload the application. And if I'm very lucky, maybe, it all starts up again, and there we are. So that's all very reliable. But the error isn't seen. Now you see that says unlink there. No partial command. So if I start it up again, hey, it's fine. It's back to where it was. No partial command. I'll bet you this starts again. There you go. And there's your partial command. You see how it says naught, as in naught or one, unlink. Only part of the command has been sent out, I think. Guarantee this will fail. The problem is the board doesn't yet know it's got a problem. I may not be sending anything. I can't say, well, if, I, if you don't send anything, reset it. It's not until it gets a busy S, and it won't get the busy S until I send a command. Watch this. Busy S. Now the board knows it has it to do a reset, but it's too late at that point. So somehow we need to fix this busy S thing um, that's on the standard software, or come up with an alternative. But as you can see, outside of that, You've got pretty reliable um, communications. 
Now, I've been using this software for about a year now. Uh, I, uh, I've been using it with the hardware, Keith on it. So to give you an example, uh, here's my house. 18 degrees, etc., etc. So that tells you all about the house. That's an Arduino and the standard Ethernet card, and I can turn things on and off. That's been on for 556 hours um, without a single failure. Uh, I've got another one I think has been on for a thousand hours. So there's no problems with any of this except for the Wi Fi uh, link. Obviously, this is working on Wi Fi. And there we are. So if we could just solve that busy S problem, this makes a very good solution for a variety of different um, jobs around the houses this year. Anybody's got any ideas or fancies tackling that busy S or has completely other software that already works and does sockets, please do let me know.